Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, I'll explain the append to prepend to and the clone methods in jQuery I'm using CodePen, it's an online editor uh, This is the HTML panel, this is the CSS uh, you know the JS panel on the right hand side we don't need the CSS panel for this example although you can include the CSS panel too and right here at the bottom we have the preview window Okay, notice that we have a span uh, uh, element out here which says yahoo.com italicized Mohit's mail at, uh, at the rate and an H1 element which says and Mohit Manuja is my Skype ID all relevant uh, true details by the way okay so the result in the uh, preview window is you first see yahoo.com and then Mohit's mail at the rate so basically my email address just uh, turned topsy-turvy and the actual email address is uh, mail at the rate yahoo.com also notice that the word yahoo.com is not italicized because it's inside the uh, opening closing span tags but mail at the rate is actually italicized being inside the italic tags i tags okay and uh, and mohit manuja uh, mohit dot manuja is my skype id is actually big and bold and that's the h1 behavior right no surprises there so let's uh, start bringing in the jquery and let's see how this actually affects the document Here's the first line. <coughs> okay, immediately you can actually see that um, my email address is actually set properly. What was uh, initially jumbled up, you know, half of it was in the normal font, the other half was actually italicized. Now the whole thing is italicized. What does this code actually do? It says span, take the span, cut the span actually, and append to i. So actually removes the span. It actually cuts it. It's a cut and paste. Cuts the span, and then you know it actually takes it inside like so takes it inside like so uh, that's what it actually does okay let's let me bring it back okay so uh, basically append to methods allows you to add the span at the tail right at the tail but within the i tags and that's why the whole thing actually gets uh, italicized guys okay let's bring in the next uh, bit of code and let's see how th that actually affects the whole document now I'm actually declaring a variable copy and declaring variables do not actually should not uh, uh, affect the preview out here in this example so a copy uh, a variable has been created and I've created a copy of I I by the way is now more at the radio.com because the append to method combines the span and the eyes together you know in one single line and everything is actually italicized so basically I'm creating a copy an exact replica clone of the eye in the memory it's on the clipboard guys it's not pasted or pushed anywhere so far okay the clone methods just creates a copy in the memory it's yet to be manipulated and in the next line we'll actually manipulate it so let's push in the next line now I'm saying uh, dollar sign copy okay and then the prepend to method basically I'm taking the copy or the uh, the I basically and prepend to basically add before but within within h1 and that's the reason if you notice h1 now says Mohit's mail uh, at the rate yahoo.com this was actually i uh, right that this was actually i this was i right has been pushed in but before and Mohit dot manuja is my skype id and Mohit dot manuja so prepend to method actually before the h1 but within the h1 right so <coughs> It's still italicized, okay, but uh, you know it's it's got pushed inside the H1 and right at the where you have the head, not where you have the toe. So that's how you know the append to prepend to and the clone or the copy methods actually work. So clone creates an exact replica in the memory which needs to be pushed in somewhere so we are pushing using the prepend to method so guys I hope you found this information useful you have a good day please sub please uh, um, spread the information by sharing the video uh, again you have a good day bye bye peace